Right then guys, I'm gonna bowl this Chagoy up and do a topical treatment. Uh, I have checked out the knocks on his head. I mean, they're healing well. There's no infection, there's no bacterial infection, but I'd like to sedate it anyway, give it a good look over before we transfer him out into the grow one pond. Uh, looking at the koi, I think it's just weak and it's struggling to get any food against the rest of the fish that I have in here so <clears throat> by putting it in the grow on with a lot of smaller fish and possibly a lot more food going in uh, I'm kind of hoping we can nurse it back to strength but as I say I've done plenty of scrapes and everything on the fish and I can't seem, can't seem to find any issues whatsoever uh, with parasite wise and none of the other fish obviously we had fluke there and I treated for it and we were clear after further scrapes so None of the other fish seem to be showing any any symptoms, so I think maybe it was just just got weakened by its knock and it's just struggling to get any food down at now. So I'll go on and get it out. Got the kazuri sedate here. We reckon 10 mil per 9 litres. So we've got 13 and a half litres over there. I'll go with 15 mil. <coughs> As you can see, he's just rolled over there. Couple of bits of car pox still on the lower fins, but nothing other than that knock on there. And I don't know if the knock has done some serious damage, but. And it did have a bit of carp pox there, which is that's where it's come off. All the scales do seem a bit... bit loose there. I got this tray made up. I'm gonna get him in there wrapped up and do the topical treatment on his head. Four treatment system. So this is Hydromet, which gets applied twice. Just put a little bit of tissue over his eyes and nostrils, obviously, because I don't want any of it medication going in there. And this is the Aquabac. Which also gets applied twice.
too. Seal everything in and create like a waterproof plaster if you like. And then go put a little treatment on that side as well. There we go, looks like a vampire. One thing, if you're doing anything like this, make sure you have everything ready. You don't want to be going to looking for looking for anything while your, your fish is sedated. Yeah, definitely a loose scale there. But as I say, I've scraped this fish so many times and could not find any parasites on it. The big four treatment system comes with an instructional DVD for uh, all different kinds of knocks and bumps and, and how to treat the koi. It's a uh, very good system. Just before I get her back in, well, him, I think, just wanted to show you that. That'd probably uh, be a benefit to you, Andrew. Right, I'm gonna go and uh, get him back in the, the grow on. So that's that koi back in the grow on pond. I'm hoping uh, I've raised the temperature now to 23 degrees. It won't take that long to to get up there, and I'm I'm gonna raise the salt content out there probably to about 0.5 or 6. I'll do it out there because it's. It's a damn sight easier to get the salt out of that pond than it is to get it out of this one, so I'll, uh, I'll raise it up for a week or so. I won't do the, the small fish that are out there any harm because they came from Cuttlebrook Koi and they keep a, a level of salt in their, in their, their small fish ponds anyway. So, as you can see, he's back alive there swimming around and uh, he's come around from the sedation. I do hope, I do hope we can bring it back and, and get him healthy again. It looks very, very hungry, very, very malnourished if you like. Like he's definitely not getting enough food. And over the last couple of weeks I have seen him up trying to fight for the food in this pond, but it's a fight in, in his state he's never going to win uh, against the rest, the rest of these greedy gobshites that are in the back behind me, so. Noticed this just before I went shooting the other day. Happy days, good old rubber boot performing as always. I did think I had a, a spur one somewhere, but I've hooked in every box and all the spurs box that I have and I can't find it. So I'm gonna have to do a bodge repair on this now while I uh, wait on a new one to be delivered.
Give us a thumbs up, jump down and smack that subscribe button, it'd be greatly appreciated. So until next time folks, look after yourselves and look after those fish.